welcome back comrades, this is Gaming with Dawson. And today, we about, we on, we are on episode 7, the 7, a mistake, of season 2 of the Utopian Community Series. What we're going to do is I'm going to try to complete Already completed for uh, the fourth floor, or uh, US. Now I'm going to do the 5th floor, America, Russia, North America or Russia, 4th floor, International. Then, repeat the same thing again. Like, the reason I'm adding more floors is, uh, like, I'm doing, sometimes I'll do it one floor at a time, I'll do it because it's easier. What I would do... Sometimes you do one floor, uh, I would do one floor at a time, sometimes I do multiple floors at once.
The reason your brain has to register pain is the only way to keep you alive. And if there's a blood clot and you don't feel it, you're fucked. You're gonna die pretty quickly. <clears throat> that is called a silent heart attack. Those can kill people without warning. They can kill people without warning. It's not just humans that choose the largest fruit out of the bunch of fruits. Animals do it too. In fact, we're breeding, we're cultivating plants to uh, have really gigantic fruits. Just to keep up with demand. Demand is always uh, for food will start to stagnate at about ten billion people. Which means prices would start to plummet. Childcare costs would be the same, because the costs that are lost would be supplemented by tax. As a way to get people to not have as many kids. My way of increasing the carrying capacity <sighs> is to genetically engineer us to have a slow metabolism. You know, eating a lot of food is part of human nature. No amount of it, uh, no amount of discipline is always enough to. It's not always enough to stop people from eating so much, because sometimes they do it because they have a greater need to eat. Some people do it because they're pregnant. They have to nourish the baby. You know, in nature, those with the greatest need to eat that are stronger are more likely to control the food supply. They have the greater chance of controlling the food supply. It shouldn't be those that are the strongest that should control the food supply. It should be the it should be those with the greatest need to eat. Unless we all don't have a Unless we genetically alter our DNA to make us have a slower metabolism. Your resting metabolic rate is something you have no control over. That's the metabolism that is needed to keep you alive. You cannot slow your metabolism down on command. If you did, you'd probably die.
Have you heard of something called intermittent fasting? Try to control your starving. Like, if you starve yourself in a controlled manner, you have a greater chance of surviving. You know, it's not how much fat you have that's the problem, it's how your body stores fat. With sumo wrestlers, most of their body fat is stored right underneath the skin. The skin. and filling it up with water and putting those extruding grooves on them is because I don't know when the next major update will be. It'll either be today, tomorrow, no one, only time will tell. Only time will tell. But if I do it all entirely like this, if you do it like this, like do one floor, fill it up, do another floor, fill it up, same thing across every floor you'd have the better chance of finding more variety of fruits and vegetables. And the variety of fruits and vegetables is what we need. What will we do with the production excess? Just like calories in, calories out. Like you produce, you in, your caloric intake exceeds your expenditure, your body stores it. It's fat. excess we would produce on the first stages of the commune, we'd use the excess to produce more. But once we reach the limit,
<laughs> Here's a funny story. My grandpa, when he grew, um, when he was growing up, he went to a Catholic school. He thought it would be a good idea to call one of the nuns at the school a penguin. In Catholic schools, they're pretty strict about hair policies. Because they, they'd they have to comply with the Catholic Bible. Assuming I was a Catholic, I'm not a Catholic. But if I was, if I became the Pope, I'd lift the ban on long hair. Assuming I'm, uh, I'm an atheist. Let's see if the same thing is on the other side. They're all the, all the same size. Here we are. Let's keep doing this. Have you heard of, like, many of y'all have heard of Oreo. Did you know that Oreos, like, Namisco released the most stuff of Oreos? <laughs> they 
there's also Yo Mama joke out there on the internet about that. <laughs> Little Donald Trump is just a pussy. <laughs> I'd, I'd call him a man whore. I'd call him the pimp, uh, the head of the whorehouse. The whorehouse is the White House. I'm not trying to offend any of y'all. trying to offend any old ladies out there. Back in the Stone Age, there were no political rivalries. The only wars that were waged were food and water war food and water conflicts, and that was about it. Hunter-gatherer society is also known as a primitive communist society. Basically, primitive communism. communists out there that oppose the death penalty. There are some unknown heroes, like there are some civil rights heroes that many of us don't know about. One of those heroes is Angela Davis. She is a communist and a democratic socialist. She opposes the death penalty. Her, pol uh, her opinion on prisons, she is like that of the Netherlands. I believe we should focus more on rehabilitating our criminals back into society. Instead of punishing them, we should rehabilitate them. But you know, the only scenario in which rehabilitation will not work is if the motive for the crime was related to scarcity. Like scarcity of, of biologically necessary resources, like food and water. When there's not enough of any of uh, either of those People have no choice but to fight over it. In, in biological competition, only this strong will survive. Like, if they're competing over scarce resources, only the strongest ones will survive. The reason they compete is because there's not enough food for the two of them. 
whether it be between two animals of the same species or two animals of a different species. A lion would take out a cheetah. A lion would take out a cheetah. Obligate carnivores need claws. Because they gotta hunt. They gotta go out and hunt. Out, out in the wild, they have to hunt. For much of human history, until slavery came along, we shared a lot of things. Debt was basically non-existent. Money was never involved. The only reason we competed was, the only reason we waged wars back in the Stone Age was over food and water. That was about it. It's good that wars were, uh, like, or waged over uh, biologically necessary materials for survival. It wasn't related to geopolitical rivalries. Because in the Stone Age, it was basically a stateless society. People only competed for food and water. That was about it. We shared a lot in common with our units. With our family units. For those with a greater need to eat, they have a greater need to compete. Because there's not as much food available for them as everybody else. So they have to compete for it. Whilst those with a lesser need to eat are not as likely to... Don't need to compete for food. There is also inter inter specific competition, in which a lion and a cheetah would fight over who controls the carcass. Anyways, this is it for this video. Don't forget to leave a like if you liked this video. Dislike if you disliked it. Subscribe for more. Share this with your comrades on social media. Follow me on Instagram for more content on The Sims and Minecraft. As always, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more. And, as always, su support me on Patreon. Just like our Saber Spark makes his living. As always, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more. And, peace out.